Hello, this is Haka Bean, and today we are going to be reading some r slash entitled parents. I remember asking a few days ago in a community post if you want to hear stuff about this. The only comment I got was a simple, plain yes. So I'm guessing that you do. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. As always with the reading format at subreddits, I I already put these on different tabs. Mother got rid of my cat sneakily. I feel no remorse. So what? Isn't it just a cat? Now get why you're arguing over this matter again. Words I came. I was right from my own mother's mouth. Before this, she has always threatened multiple times that, that she would and will get rid of my cat when I'm not around. I never took her seriously. After all, what a parent would go to such a sense of hurting their child. Wrong. My mother did it, knowing that it would hurt me. How dare she call herself a parent? How is she even worthy of being one? I always questioned myself, and therefore I never spoke to her again after this incident. Not once has she even apologized, yet she still has the, the cheek to go around telling others. My daughter doesn't wish to speak to me. She has cut off contact with me. The irony. That was indeed a short story. I need some clarification on some things about my mother. I'm a teen and won't be ch clarifying my age, female, but I need to some help. Every day when I come home from school, my mother has been shouting, calling me pathetic, annoying, and has been threatening to hit me. Every time I tell her it's illegal to hit your child, she says that it's not and gets even more pissed off at me. She said she would uh, flatten me if I talked back one more time and said that I am an entitled brat and that I got everything I wanted when I was growing up. Yes, I did, and I, I still am a little... A bit spoiled by my dad since he wants to be able to continue my passion for figure skating. And she has hit me in the, ha in the past, but not hard enough to leave a bruise. And any time I attempt to talk to her, she will shout at me. And I will try to get my way out of the situation. Eugene. If you don't stop talking back, I'm going to hate you. You can't hit me, it's against the law. Stuff like that, and I don't mean to talk back. Like, I'm trying to make sure I'm not going to get hit. Another thing is this woman wanted me to be a cheap. You need pregnancy so she would have grandkids. I have three older siblings who all could have had kids but didn't wish to, and was disappointed when I came out as a lesbian because of this. Currently from my bedroom, she's just told my six-year-old brother to shut up while he's singing I love you, you love me. I'm just wondering if there's something I could do or am I being or dramatic? Is she in the right and am, am I in the wrong? I would like some clarification. Thank you for reading. Yeah, you're not in the wrong. Your mother is literally threatening to... is literally abusing you and threatening to ooh, harm you, even though it's against the law. <sighs> Was I a parent to myself and my sister? Hi, so I'm currently 23 female, trying to do some internal healing. I just want to ask people if it sounds like I was a parent or if this was normal. My memory has become a little fuzzy since moving out, but I still feel the stress. Anyway, in my teen years, especially my late teens, I was responsible for cleaning the whole house. I was to clean the floors, clothes, the kitchen, all bathrooms and bedrooms, mostly by myself. I would also have to prep dinner along with stepping in to help my sister with her homework. I would only do this if my parents are yelling and calling and her name is like stupid. In my late teens, 15 to 19, I was not allowed to get a job because I had to babysit my sister who was 7 to 9. 
During school holidays, which was two weeks, I would make sister food throughout the day, help with personal care, and clean the house. When I confirmed my, fr my parents about wanting more time to myself, I was, I was basically rushed off and told they wouldn't get a living nanny. Which didn't sit right with me. I think I just wanted them to spend time with my younger sister. Sometimes I really struggled with my younger sister as she would have meltdowns and would wreck her room. The stress really got to me and I began crying in my room a lot as I wasn't allowed to cry in the main room. My mom would say I was spreading sadness and that something was wrong with me. My dad would just get frustrated and lock himself in his room most of the time as he was dealing with his own demons. Yeah, they turned you into the parent because they refused to take responsibility. Basically, what happened is that your mother was the whole time spreading sadness and something was wrong, wrong with you thing. That is literally your mom just uh, us pushing blame off of herself because she can't handle it. She can't and accept that she might be in the wrong ever. So she blames you for everything that she did. That's a pretty common sign of a narcissist, if you ask me. <sighs> Natal's stepmom fights with my dad in front of our neighbors, and more. And more, you say? Oh, they have like a backstory here and a last story? Oh my goodness. Okay, we might want to read the backstory first. The last story, not really. The backstory of my entitled stepmother. I have posted several stories about her, but I haven't clarified how she came into my life. So here it is. These facts came from my own experiences and words that I've come that have come from my dad's friends and relatives. When I was seven years old, my parents got divorced. It was a messy marriage, and although I was upset, it was for the best. They had 50-50 custody. After the divorce, my mother moved out of our house and only took her belongings and some money, but not much. The company we work she worked for closed down right after the divorce, and she was still looking for a job. But she still left a lot of money to my dad. I have an older sister who is not my dad's child, but was her father figure because her dad was absent and a drug addict. My dad was very irresponsible with the money, and he blew through a lot of it very quickly. He's got his antique car fixed, yeah that's a waste of money, up to look brand new, always gave out drinks, drinks at bars, took months off of work and spent the majority of his money very quickly. He still managed to keep our nice house, beach house, boats, and his nice car. Because those are the things that he values, not really you. About a year or so afterwards, my dad tried using eHarmony and he found my stepmom on there. She lived about two and a half hours away in a different state. My stepmom worked at a diner as a manager or slash wait address and lived alone with her son. They started a day and here's red flag number one. My dad obviously talked about me on the first day because I am his daughter and I am a big part of his life. However, my stepmom did not mention anything about her son until a few more dates in. When she told my dad, he was a bit shocked that she waited so long to tell him. Then she said, as if this were a bad thing, that he was black. She said as if he was a criminal or something. My dad thought this was weird, but brushed it off. That is weird and implies some incredibly high racism from, the set, from your stepmom already. Later on, he visited her apartment, and according to him, it was disgusting. It's a two and a half hour drive to where she lived. You would figure that she would clean up before he got there. He also said throughout the relationship, she would constantly call and text him and not leave him alone. This is a lot of red flags. During all this time, Stepan was super nice to me, and I really liked her, along with the rest of my dad's family. The only person who didn't like her was my aunt, aunt's dad's sister. Her husband. He had a bad feeling about her. About a year or so, after about a year or so, he started to get fed up with her and was about to break up with her when she pulled the I'm pregnant card. 
My dad was a nice guy and he knew that she already had one absent baby daddy and he didn't want her to have another. Nah. If you were about to break up with someone and before they fold this card, you need to break up with them even after they fold this card. A parasite that you can get removed is not as important as your own life. So you married her and she, my stepbrother, her and her cat moved in. I have a big feeling that she only got pregnant for the money my dad had so that she could live comfortably. My dad's constant spending stopped her in the face when they married and he didn't have much to spare. Honestly, I along with other family members do not think that that Jay is my dad's son. There's a distinct nose shape on my dad's side of the family and everybody from his dad's side has it. Me, my dad, aunt, and aunt's son. But Jay doesn't have it. A few months after the baby was born, I was in my dad's bedroom looking for the TV remote. And when I opened up one of his drawers, I found a pack of condoms in there. Maybe my brother is my dad's kid. Maybe he isn't. I guess future DNA tests will figure that out. My older his sister still lived in a house though. So my dad kicked her out so that they could have my stepbrother and baby you better have a room. To this day, so they still use her bed and furniture, which I find disgusting. My sister was 20 at the time and my mom didn't have any more room for her at our apartment, so she had to get her own place. She currently lives in another state about 18 hours away from us. My stepmom was still very nice to me and I was excited for her to move in and be with my stepbrother and my little, little brother. However, a few months ago, after she moved in and had a baby, it, 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 she, it's like being a total bitch to me. She would yell at me for stupid things and not acknowledge my interests. For example, I have always drawn and I'm currently studying art education. At one time, I was drawing Carl Grimes from The Walking Dead and showed him pointing a gun. I was really proud out of it, and when, when I showed my stepmom, she was the only one there. She yelled, "Oh my God, that's awful!" I was crushed and asked, "What?" She replied, saying how guns, how having guns and drawing is ugly. Needless to say, I held my tears until I got back to my room, then cried myself to sleep. First of all, that is an awful thing to say as a parent. First of all, guns and drawing are freaking awesome. There are so many cool. Well, anime characters and even VTubers that have guns and knives and other weapons. And they look so cool with them. Not all drawing is going to be cutesy. The worst of it was my freshman year of high school. She always harbored me apart and I was so upset all the time. My mom lived in another town for my school, so I had to stay at my dad's house for school. Turns out, I didn't have to. I was in a program at my school for graphic design. My mom found out that any student in the country that was in a program can live in any town and can be and be best to the school. I was so excited when I told my dad. All he said was, okay, I figured out he understood. A few days later, my stepmom was talking to me and was complaining about paying the best fees for me and my stepbrother. I asked her, Did my dad tell you that I'm going to be staying at my mom's house for school? She said, No! And then went into the other room to ask him. My dad said, Oh, well, I thought she would only stay at her mom's some days, not all of them. Face bomb. For some reason, I, I said my sorry to yell at me about it, even though I had a feeling that she was trying to chase me out of the house. Come sophomore year, she became super duper nice to me, which I assume is because I'm not at my dad's house as often. She became even nicer after I got my cancer, as I said in previous posts. That's why I'm out it for a backstory. I'm sorry it's so long. I shall share more soon or his later. Thank you for all your likes and comments. I really appreciate it. Well, we have the backstory for this story now. Now we can get back to the story. This is going to be a long story. So, TRD, TLDR at the end. Yep, I have all the parts up in the in tabs right now. It is so long that this is only half of it. Part 2 at the bottom. 
Hello everyone, it's been quite a while but I'm back again with more stories about my entitled stepmom. I traveled back to New Jersey with my mom and stepdad because they had a few months of work up there and I want to see friends and family, except for entitled stepmom of course. I get there and everything is fine until we take a trip to our beach house. Before we went, my dad and Demon Spawn had a big fight and he left the night before it's go down there. Doesn't mom claim that he was drunk and driving even though I didn't see him drink anything and he was acting normal, but whatever. Next morning, I'm on a couch for my little brother, 12, waiting to go, and until his stepmom walks up to me and says, If your dad keeps acting like this, I'm taking your and leaving. He's an alcoholic, and it's not safe for my kids to be here with him. Before I get into the aftermath, let me explain something. My stepbrother is 24 years old and still lives with us. He's an adult, and so can you really decide where he wants to live? If you would take my little brother, you would be taking him away from his school, friends, sports team, etc. And where would you take them? Before she married my dad, she lived in a crappy, disgusting apartment. Her family lives two and a half hours away, and even if she did go there, they wouldn't have any room in their house to let him, him live there. If she stayed in Jersey, then apartments around my town are pretty expensive and definitely not in her waitress salary budget. Hang on, I'm going to take a drink. Where was I? Alright. Then to the alcoholic comic comment. He's not an alcoholic. He gets all his responsibilities done throughout the day and likes to enter with a drink or two. Or some weed. It's a it's legal in our state. That's not an alcoholic. An alcoholic is like my cousin is of course like my cousin Derek, who has his own saga on my page, who doesn't take care of his children, drinks all day, doesn't have a job of and blames on everybody else but himself. An alcoholic is someone who, who is addicted to alcohol and cannot stop drinking it if they, even if they need to. Back to the story. First off, I'm confused on why she thinks that. Second, why is she saying all this in front of my brother? He's a kid. He doesn't need to hear all this. Due to my shitty memory yeah, and being in the moment, I cannot remember exactly what was said, but there was a pretty heated argument between us with me defending my dad. I really wish I could remember what was said. Damn, brain surgery always make me forget things. But anyways, the two-hour car ride was filled with awkwardness and silence. Also, why would she bring this up to me right before she, we had to sit next to each other for two hours? Did she expect me to, to agree with her and be happy? Who knows? When we finally got to the beach house, I saw my dad working on some things in the backyard. Instantly, Intel's stepmom jumped out of the car, screaming again at him. Again, due to my crappy memory, I can't remember all that was said. This brain surgery thing is starting to sound a little bit... ...damaging. More so than I thought it was. But anyways, the neighbors next door could obviously hear them, and they were even walking outside. They probably thought we were psychos. I was so embarrassed. Who the hell says psychos who refer to crazy people these days? Who the fuck even says crazy people? This went on for like 30 minutes. After that cooled down, they separated and I was talking to my dad. He was venting to me about and tell stepmom, then he realized he needed something, but it was on the golf cart. He saw the golf cart, but until Sevan was standing next to a talk, talking to some of my dad's friends. He asked me to go get him because he didn't want to go near her. I started walking him over and until Sevan's mom and then lowered her voice. I knew she was talking about my dad. When I got there, I didn't say anything, and she wasn't speaking words about my dad, but I could see his friend's face, and it looked so confused. My dad has known this guy for 30 plus years, and he later said that... He his friend told him that he didn't believe a word she said. I mean, who would? She seems to be a little bit of a pathological liar. <sighs> Anytime. The light hurts my eyes, you know. Until a stepmom fights with my dad in front of our neighbors and more. Part 2 
Part 2 of my previous post. Later on, my dad asked me and my brother if we wanted to go out to eat. We both excitedly said yes, but here comes Insaf Slapmon and she says, No. Me and little brother are going school shopping. Yeah, like that's what a kid wants to do when they're at the ver beach house. So me and my dad went out to eat and the whole day away there, who's ranting about her, which I honestly enjoyed hearing. I decided to tell him things that I'd never or told him about her, like stories that I posted on here that only added fuel to the fire. He told me that he didn't miss my mom, but he missed the kind of relationship he had with her. He said everything was so much more fun and easygoing. He said how they he wouldn't find in public and go into a private place is where the sides argue. Now that says a lot. We were out for hours, and by the time I, we got home, everything was calm. The rest of the time there was pretty awkward, but no more big fights. I left with my dad, and not with her. Also, my brother didn't buy anything for a uh, shirt while out shopping. But that's not all. The rest of the time there was uneventful regarding into our step mile. Until I was about to leave to go back home. This took place on November 17th. My dad, Itzhak's stepmom, and my little brother were going to the beach house one last time to close it up for the season. Since I wasn't going to be home by the time they got back, they gave me pres Christmas presents then. For some reason, Itzhak's stepmom revealed the gifts first and then the stockings, which I did not grow up with. It was always stockings first and gifts. Since she moved in, she basically forced this onto me, and my dad... And even though we didn't like it. Multiple times we tried to do this, but she would tell us, no. So I tried to open the sock first, and she said, no, we do the gifts first. And I said, well, I like to open the stockings first, and we're not all opening gifts. It's just me, so I'm going to open the stocking first. That shut her up. We're opening gifts, I could just feel the anger and awkwardness flowing off her body, but I kept my cool and made jokes and said my thank yous. If you read my last post, I'm a child my dad didn't give me the best gift. This this year he was really thoughtful and gave me a football jersey, the team flag, and some other things. I was really grateful for that. My dad gave me a heartfelt goodbye, but until I said mom didn't say anything else to me for the rest of the night. The next day, when I was home alone, I had some plans, at, so I was getting ready. When I went downstairs, I had TV on and thought it was my stepbrother. But it turned out that it was until I said mom. Apparently, her and my brother stayed home because he was sick. Not gonna lie, I was pretty annoyed. I just don't want to be around her anymore. I was out of the house with, it was the weekend, and so I didn't see much of her. Finally, my mom picked me up on Sunday. We left on Monday, and now I'm home of, and rid of and tossed stepmom for now. I'm going back in January for 10 days for medical appointments, but after that, I don't know when I will be back there. It sucks because I want to be up there when, to see my family and friends, but I just can't stand her anymore. TLDR, my crazy stepmom yells inside a huge frag with my dad and from our neighbors, talks trash about my dad to his friends, doesn't like my brother spend time with us, and tries to take my brother and leave my dad because he's an alcoholic. Before I left to go back home and tell stepmom gets mad at me because I didn't open my Christmas presents the way she likes to. That last one is really, really silly and petty. Where's the bees? There we go. Mm. Hang on, let me check and make sure. Alright, cool. Very good. Last story. My mom keeps hitting and abusing me while pregnant. She is very mentally ill, and I have been experiencing this all my life, so it doesn't bother me as bad. But this day, she has succeeded in pushing me to the limit. I had to move back in because of some issues with my child's father. She threw water in my face because of an argument made previously. Today, I woke up with a really bad cough. She has severe OCD when it comes to germs and bacteria, so the fact that I was coughing it was enough to make her lose her mind. I remind her that my little brother probably gave me the cough because he was sick for two weeks with a really bad cough too. That is similar to mine. My brother is her favorite so she starts freaking out and getting really angry that I'm accusing him. I remind her that it isn't really that big of a deal but she keeps getting more and more furious. To the point she involves my brother in it. 
Now we are screaming and going back and forth about who gave me the cough. I have to remind her again that my brother is around kids of all ages at school, and they could have given it to my brother, then my brother gave it to me. But it's not that big of a deal. I realize that she's taking it more seriously than it really is and decides to hit me. And goes to the sink and try and and to throw water at me for accusing my brother. I'm so done with her, her abuse. I grab the water bottle and throw water back. My brother starts screaming, and now she's pulling my hair. But I'm defending myself. I'm literally pregnant. I don't want her to hurt my baby if she decides to hit me in the wrong spot. She grabs a bucket of water and throws it all over me. Then I, I proceed to do the same in back. She's not telling me to get out of her house and that my brother will hate me for this. My brother is, back, is screaming, begging us to stop, and I also feel so bad. I love how this is somehow oh, my fault, like everything else is. She goes to take and takes a shower with my brother because I contaminated him. I'm so tired of this. The only reason I came back was because I didn't think she would be abusive to me while pregnant. This is a lot for me and motivates me even more to leave. This is just one instance. She has done this, this to me countless of times. Wait. She's taking showers with your sibling? That is... Really creepy. Depending on your sibling's age, that is incredibly inappropriate. You never mention ages here, so I'm assuming that they're probably old enough to have enough agencies to be able to take a shower on their own. <sighs> Man, even if he's not a minor, that's even worse. After a certain age, most parents stop taking showers with their kids. Like sometimes parents have to ooh, take showers with their kids and they have to keep the bathroom door open because, you know, toddlers are freaking crazy. But after they're not a toddler anymore, they should not be taking showers with, with their kids anymore. Anyway, I think that's it. That was r slash entitled parents. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!